In this video, we'll see how we can use the endowment points with the relationships that we found in the previous video to compute the price ratio. So what are the endowment points? We can see that we have 240 units of clothing for Anna and 120 units of clothing for uh, Benny. So in total, we have 360 units of clothing, units of clothing, and we have 240 units of food of Anna, 120 units of food of Benny. So we have also 360 units of food in total. Now with this in mind, we could take, we could take a set of these equations and make it equal to the endowment points because what we have here is, for instance, clothing of Anna plus clothing of Bill in total must give us 360 units. So if we actually add these two, if we add these two equations and make it equal to 360, we can find the relationship between the price of clothing and the price of food and we will do exactly that. So let's write it here right next to it. Let me make space like that and work out with the math. It's going to be quite mathematical now. So we will have, we will have uh, 240 times price of clothing plus 240 times price of food. I'm just rewriting this expression over here divided by four times the price of clothing because one over four times this, we could just write it together like that. Plus this equation from here, which is the clothing for Benny. That's going to be 120 price of clothing plus 120 times price of food divided by two times the price of clothing, two times the price of clothing equals to 360. Notice that we have the same denominator. I mean, almost the same. We have price of clothing, but we have a bit different coefficient. So let's just make it in the same coefficient. Let's multiply this by two. So we have also four times the price of clothing in the second, uh, in the second term. What are we going to have now? We have 240 price of clothing plus 240 times price of food plus two times 120. That's 240 price of clothing plus two times 120 price of food, which is 240 price of food divided by four times the price of clothing equals to 360. Now let's do a cross product and see what we get. If we do a cross product over here, 240 price of clothing plus another 240 price of clothing, it's 480 price of clothing plus 240 price of food plus 240 price of food, that's 480 price of food equals to 360 times four is equal to 1440 multiplied with the price of clothing, price of clothing. Now let's take the price of clothing on the other side. Let's take this one on the other side. So we have 480 price of food is equal to 960 price of clothing. Let's cancel out something. Let's cancel out. Uh, let's cancel out 48960 because that's exactly divisible by two. So this is going to be two. Now, what do we want? We want the ratio of price of clothing over price of food. So price of clothing divided by the price of food is going to equal to one over two because we would take two on the other side. And that's the relationship that we were looking for. Let's see if it corresponds to the answer key because they said find out the ratio of price of clothing divided by price of food and show that it's equal to one over two. So we did, so we got it. We are done with this question. In the next one, we're going to look at question three, what's gonna be the optimal consumption of the two consumers.